What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. So, top-ranked CEO and founder Bob Arum has spoke. He said he was delighted with Terrence Crawford's star-making performance against Dieri Jean, his second fight at the weight. He was the first to stop Dieri Jean. I thought he looked really good. Check out my post-fight if you want more on that particular fight. But he said that was a good audition tape. And the world knows that there's a very short list for Manny Pacquiao. Reason being... You got guys like Marquez. We haven't seen him fight since, what, Mike Alvarado, which was some time ago. He has an aggravated knee. He's contemplated injury or retirement because of the injury. He says he likes, he doesn't want to get robbed in the fifth Pacquiao fight. He says he likes how the last fight ended, obviously, because he knocked Pacquiao out. So that doesn't look like a likely candidate. Amir Khan kind of up in the air. He's advised by Al Heyman. They say Khan talks too much for his own good. That's a good fight, though. I would like to see Pacquiao versus Khan, former sparring partners. And you had Lucas Matisse. They said he was in the running, maybe still in the running, but he got stopped and quit in his last fight. So everybody knew Terrence Crawford was one of the people on that list, and the world was going to watch to see how he looked on HBO versus Deary John. I thought he looked good. Bob Aaron agrees and thought he looked good in his quote-unquote audition tape. A lot of people fail their audition, like... Keith Thurman said, oh, I'm burning money, and then he fought Leonard Bundu, and it wasn't his best, most um, sensational performance, or he fought Luis Colazzo, and then, you know what I'm saying, he got hurt to the body, um, Amir Khan, he was pondering moving from 140 to 47, calling out Mayweather at the time, stepped up with Danny Garcia, looked good for the first two rounds, then he got stopped by Danny Garcia by the fourth round, so that's what I'm saying, a lot of people... They have these quote-unquote audition tapes where everybody's watching. Lucas Matisse just had one. They were saying, like, they were prematurely talking about... I've seen this in boxing so much. If you guys knew boxing and follow it like I do, you'll see this all the damn time. The promoters, they start making and premeditating fights before the person has even got past the, the, the person in front of them. Like, they were talking about Matisse versus Pacquiao, and then Matisse ends up losing to Post Allen, getting stopped and quitting, and has an eye injury or whatever. Uh, they did it with Victor Ortiz. Victor Ortiz, for my real boxing fans that remember, he was in line to, they thought he was going to blow through Josecito Lopez, and they were going to put him in there with Canelo, who ended up fighting Josecito Lopez, the guy that upset Victor Ortiz. But that was supposed to be a thing, Victor Ortiz versus Canelo. Um, and it never happened because he got his job broken, quit in the fight or whatever. So um, I don't know when they're going to get the, the hint, but Terrence Crawford did his thing. And he looked good, so he actually passed his audition tape. Props for that. They're talking about Bob Aram said if this fight were to happen, most likely it would take place at 140. I think that's 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 good. I mean, I don't really know. Um, I think Pacquiao rehydrates probably to the low to mid 150s, and Terence Crawford rehydrated to 156 in his last fight. Um, I think Tr Crawford's probably taller, longer arms. Pacquiao has fought bigger guys. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a good fight. It's a 50-50 fight because we haven't seen Pacquiao face a guy who's a switch hitter like Terrence Crawford that I can remember. You know what I mean? Floyd Mayweather, obviously a hell of a boxer, but he, he goes from like Philly Shell. Everything he's doing is in an orthodox stance for the most part. He doesn't really switch to Southpaw for large chunks of the fight or anything like that. So that would be interesting. Plus, Floyd Mayweather is more, at this point of his career, he's more economical with his punches. Just about accuracy. Bow, bow. You know what I'm saying? Piece you up with precision punching, and that's it. Terrence Crawford is um, younger, so he kind of goes for the gusto. You've seen that in the Dieri Jean fight, and I told you that in my post fight. He was um, putting punches together, and he was pretty aggressive even when he didn't need to be. He could probably easily put it on cruise control and coast to an outboxing session winning every round, but he took the gamble and he was the first person to stop Dieri Jean for that. And, and that's what happened. That's what you're supposed to do when you're young. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are like, oh, why did Floyd do that? Floyd was doing that when he was younger in the lighter weight divisions. You know what I'm saying? He was doing that. So same thing. Terrence Crawford is young. He, he has the torch right now. So he was trying to make a statement and I think he did that. So it's a good fight. Pacquiao fought a catch weight against Algeria at 144. Um, I've seen him in recent pictures. He doesn't look that big, so I, I think he could make 140. Freddie Roach says he can, so let me know what you guys want to see. Do you want to see Terrence Crawford versus Manny Pacquiao? Uh, no, do, do. Um, I feel my shoulder is uh, recovered, and it, it, it's, it's better. Yeah, yeah, it's better. Let me know what you guys want to see. Make sure you like my video. As always, hey, comment and subscribe. Till next video is Ego, son and all.